was an eventful evening. The mistress had been cultivating her latest masterpieces. The protégés of hers would decorate the small world in which Lace lived in, bringing endless entertainment for the season. Now, Lace couldn't help but feel excitement. No matter who you are, what lineage you come from, though those of the Red Heart clan were especially favored, you had a chance to unravel your old scramble of a mess and become an upkept, well-crafted item to be respected. Though there were many others that had been chosen before him, Lace had no worry, for everyone has their place, and he would find his. But, in truth, he did have great hope to be chosen now, to have a chance to participate in the mistress's latest experiments, to have a chance to become a seasonal piece of pure art. Then his wish came true. The mistress selected Lace. Lace then proceeded to undergo extreme tests of his strands, but he held fast and worked hard. <laughs> Suddenly, Lace felt different, as if he had changed. And then Lace realized he had. White Pumpkin had been shaped into a new person, with lines to his boundaries, and a place hard-earned. But White wasn't done yet. He knew his leader, the mistress, still had more ambitions, and thankful for all she had already done for him, he intended to be the one to fulfill them. It was a great labor, but a worthy one, one of complete trust. And then, before he knew it, Mr. Mustache was born.